We were on the road back from my house in Florida. We had spent the Christmas break and New Year's with my family. We were right in Murfreesboro, which is about 30 minutes from the apartment. And I, I don't remember how it happened. I just remember hitting a hard bump and I look up and I saw the bridge coming at me in front of me. I was sound asleep in the passenger seat if I woke up to the truck hitting a bolt. Everything slowed down. When, once I realized what was going on, I looked to my left and there was a guardrail and there was no getting back on the road. And I was like, okay, I can't get back on the road. I have this bridge pillar coming up in front of me. I don't want to hit that head on. So I'm going to try and go around it. I remember grabbing the wheel and trying to go around the pole. Once my tires hit that steep hill right there, it threw me into the first pillar. And then after that, I kept trying to get up on that embankment. And each time it threw me into another pillar, another pillar, another pillar. It's weird because obviously it's like a scary thing, but I was never scared. I just like thought I was going to die in a second. And we hit the fourth pillar, and it actually ripped the truck in half and it shot us up into the top. Um, we did a 360 and landed back at the bottom on the fifth pillar. I remember that last hit and everything was silent. When I realized I could move and I was okay, I look at Hunter and I remember just seeing him up against the steering wheel, like blood everywhere, um, thinking he was dead and I was just like screaming and scared. The next thing I remember was the paramedic over the top of me. I remember the light being in my eyes. We got taken in different ambulances. We didn't get to talk or anything like that. So I was just concerned with knowing he wasn't dead. When I opened my eyes, I saw my brother. And immediately, motion started to come to me. And once I got my bearings together, I was like, where's Erica? Somebody needs to show me Erica. Hunter kind of like snuck out to come see me. He just came in and um, right when I saw him, I just tears because he was walking. As soon as I walked in and I hugged her, my brother took video of it. And later he went and screenshotted some of the moments in that video. My goal with posting the story um, was to add some love to the timelines and like show the miracles that happen, even though these bad things happen every day. At this point, I'm still like, OK, well, we lived and we have nothing wrong with us, so it can't be that bad. And then I went and looked at the truck, and I was like, how did we live through this? And it was like two bubbles right in the cab of the truck. The back seats were crushed. Every, everything around the truck was crushed, except for our two seats. And even looking at the pictures, I can't really look at it for too long. It's hard because I go back and forth from being thankful to being like, like cringing. Just seeing the truck, you like looking around and seeing how my side was untouched and how Hunter's was completely destroyed. Before the wreck, I always found myself wondering, all right, well, I'm not this you know, great Christian. If something ever happened, why would God protect me? After everything that happened, I found a very overwhelming peace that, wow, I failed you every single day leading up to that wreck, that New Year's Day. And you still found it in your heart to protect me. Everyone falls short of his love. No matter what, he's still going to be there to catch you when you fall, to protect you when things go wrong. When you are stressed out or um, scared of something or about to die, like Hunter and I, there's not one moment where God's not there. I want people to see that through the absolute worst of times, he hasn't left.